Hi, church. I pray this finds you well. I have one point that I want to talk about tonight. There's not a lot of information with it. It's going to be short. And it is this. As we move forward, as we come to a state of being more healthy, uh, physically, emotionally, I want you, I want to encourage you to have conversations full of grace and full of love. The more conversations that I have with people, uh, both in the office and just around, that one of the things that I've noticed is we are all on a different page. There are so many different pages of what the norm is, what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. And based on the ideas, there is a potential for us to either shame or put down someone else's idea. Paul writes in Colossians 4, 6, he says, Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. I want to encourage you as we move forward out of the, the state that we're in, and people are going to do things their way, let them do things their way and show them grace, show them mercy, show them love. Remember in the New Testament and the Sermon on the Mount when Jesus is talking about being light and being salt, that being salt is a throwback to the old covenant, to covenants being made. And when we season our conversation with salts, it should be in the new covenant. And that new covenant is loving God and loving people. And that's how we show light. So I want to encourage you, make an effort because I really think that in the weeks coming up, there's going to be ample opportunity to show grace and love and be able to disagree and still love each other. Our goal is to come out of this, this pandemic, this crisis that we're in, with the same group of people, our same relationships, or more, and not to lose people because of words that didn't build each other up, didn't show love, didn't show kindness, didn't show grace. So let your conversation be full of grace, season it with salt, be blessed, church. Onward.